Good morning. The inauguration of Donald Trump, the brash billionaire who turned the political world upside down with his unconventional campaign, takes the oath of office in just a matter of hours. The incoming president firing up his supporters at a late night welcome concert. There's never been a movement like this. And it's something very, very special. More than a million people expected to descend on the nation's capital today. Among those looking on, four of the five living U.S. presidents. Hillary Clinton, the woman he defeated in one of the most unusual and divisive elections in history. More than 60 of her fellow Democrats refusing to show up. Trump undeterred. We're going to do things that haven't been done for our country for many, many decades. This morning, a country divided comes together to witness a grand tradition, the peaceful transition of power. We're here to bring it all to you live. The pomp, the pageantry, and yes, the politics. As Donald Trump becomes our nation's 45th president, today, Friday, January 20th, 2017. The only thing we have to fear is What your country can do for you, and what you can do for your country. In this blessed land, there is always a better tomorrow. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today, the inauguration of Donald Trump with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie, live from Washington, D.C. And good morning, everyone. We are happy to welcome you to this special edition of today on a Friday morning in Washington. That's the West Front of the U.S. Capitol, where much of the action will take place today. Just about five hours from now, Donald Trump will be sworn in as president of these United States. And we are just a stone's throw from that building, the Capitol building. And with us all morning to guide us through the twists and turns of the inauguration, we're happy to have Chuck Todd and Nicole Wallace. Guys, good morning. Good to good see morning. you. It seems like just two years ago we started this. <laughs> Guess what it has been. A lot of words associated with inauguration days. You hear historic, you hear exciting, you hear hope. What are the words you're most often hearing associated with today's inauguration? Well, I would add simply also unusual, anxious, uncertain. They're emotional. I've been here for an incoming president, and I was here when he left. And whether you're the president on their way out or the president on the way in, there is an emotion to this day.